Linda with My Pastor's Wife Designs, and today I am going to show you how to make the second card in my series, Chicken Chit Chat. And today's card is going to be this little guy, and it shows them kind of playing around in the um, chicken yard or the chicken coop. And I really love that particular card because it reminds me of the movie um, Chicken Run, which I just always cracked up about all of those little chickens having so many different personalities. So anyway, I hope that you will join me today and we'll get started on this. All right, fun so card. let's go ahead and get started on this Have a Happy Day chicken card. I am having so much fun with these chickens. My grandparents raised about 3,000 chickens a year when they lived in Jackson, Wyoming, and they supplied the entire um, community with eggs way back. And so I, I like chickens. I think they're fun. And this set is just one of my favorites. So we are going to make this card today. The first stamp, of course, is the Hey Chick stamp set. And we will be using this chicken and this chicken. I love this one. It looks like a little hippie. And then we will be using... Um, touches of texture and we will be using the splatter stamp and this small stamp to make our ground. You will want to have on hand Sahara Sand ink and then you will also want to have on hand basic black. We will be using also our watercolor pencils to color our chickens, the burlap ribbon, which I just love. I think this is fun and it's fun to take apart and make nests with. You will also need some fast fuse or Terran tape. You will need the hexagon um, embossing folder. It is awesome. You can see it and it's neat because one side you can almost make it look like diamond plating for really masculine cards. However, we're going to be using it to make um, our chicken coop wire. Then you will need a piece of crumb cake cardstock cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and then scored at four and a quarter. Have your bone folder on hand, and then you can just go ahead and give this a nice press so that it's ready when you're ready to mount your card. I'm gonna set that aside for now. You need a piece of very vanilla cardstock cut at four inches by five and a quarter. That's going to be where we do our chicken coop. You need a piece of very vanilla that will be four and a quarter by two and a quarter. That's what we're going to stamp our image on. And then you also need a little piece and this one is cut at two inches by three quarters of an inch to make our little banner that we're going to stamp the um, have a happy day. And then also the other ink color we want for this one is early espresso. So those are the um, items that we're going to need to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to do is the background, which is our chicken coop. For that, you are going to need your Big Shot and put it in your embossing folder and just give it a quick run through. It's going to be tight because this is a thicker embossing they also can re recommend that if we want to, we can spritz our paper just a little tiny bit with water. I guess that gives it even a better impression. I haven't had problems yet, so I'm fine with this. Now, another thing that you're going to need that I forgot to tell you is you are going to need a sponge. I have cut our round sponge into six pieces. Then I've put a binder clip on the end of each one just to not get quite as messy. Go ahead and grab your Sahara Sand. That was a mouthful today. Now, you'll see that you have two sides to this. You want to flip over and use the side that has the edges popping up um, and your negative space down. So keep that in mind. Now, I will ink my sponge up here. I'm just going to run it across. And you see how we're getting, it almost looks like wire popping up. You want to do that on the whole piece. All right, that is finished. You can go ahead and set that aside. Leave your Sahara sand open. Go ahead and grab your basic black and your early espresso. I like to get them all opened up because we're going to stamp here and it's going to be pretty quick. With your early espresso, you're going to stamp on this little, this little piece right here. 
and you are going to use the Have a Happy Day out of the Hey Chick. I want to stamp this kind of not in the center but more to the right side because I'm going to make a banner out of it. All right, now I will take, while I've got this, I'm going to just get it done. I'm going to take my scissors and I want to make this a little bit of a banner. So I'm going to come in and just if, cut to the tip, you know, just make a make a banner. Make it a little. There we go. And while I've got it in my hand, I'm going to grab my sponge again and just sponge the edges of my little banner to give it some depth and interest. All right, so that's all sponged and ready to go. I'm going to set it aside. Now I want to stamp my chickens. So my first chicken that I'm going to stamp is this one. And you can tell she must eat a lot. She's a fat little girl. I'm going to use my um, black. Okay, and I'm going to stamp her very close to the bottom edge here. Let it sit for just a second, suck the ink off my pad. And I'm going to get my next chicken, my hippie chicken as I call it. You see him again, ink it up in black. And I'm gonna stand it as close as I can, it doesn't have to be perfect, on this one's back. You see where it kind of lines up. Get your Sahara sand. You're gonna want this set, this one right here. This is the ground. And I'm going to ink it up and run it right across the bottom and make it look like ground. And then finally, I while my Sahara sand is open, I'm going to get my splotchy one. I'm going to ink it and then stamp off on my paper and then just go down that and give it some interest. All right, you are done with your stamping. Now we get to color, which is my favorite part. Go ahead and close your pads up and get them out of your way. And bring out your watercolor pencils and your blender pen. I'm going to color these kind of, well, just however I want to. I'm going to use, um, actually I'm gonna just pull them all out so I can see the ends of them. You can see each of the ends has the color so you can really see what you're working with. And that's handy when you're trying to work. So the first thing I want to do is just start coloring. And I want some brown down here around my edges. When you're using these, you can, you can be as precise as you want, but um, I'm not going to be super precise because my blender pen is gonna do most of the work for me. So I'm just gonna put some colors in that I like. I think you can make your chicken however you want. If you want to be more um, accurate in chicken colors, feel free to hop on uh, Google Images and find colors you like. All right, I'm going to give her a lot of, a lot of yellow. I'm going to come back in with, I think it's the daffodil. Yep, daffodil delight. I have some definition. And basically that's what you're going to do is you're just going to color these guys until you have them you know, the way you want them. Okay, you can see that I've got my coloring done here and I have, it looks kind of messy and I'm okay because like I said, we're going to use this blender pen and clean it up a little bit and give it some definite or some softness. Uh, but I got my colors in how I want them and I made her kind of wild because she just cracks me up. So I'm fine with that going to go ahead and just start working where I put color down and when you're using these if you'll just color off after you've got done a certain color it won't bleed into your next ones and you see how this is starting to blend your colors together so it doesn't look as um, messy or as penciled I guess and the reason I went a little more wild with this one's colors is I can totally see that um, personality standing on somebody's head in the chicken coop. So that is why she got all kinds of uh, 
color and fun. And you can see how it softens everything up just a little bit. All right, and that's that's that. Now we're going to go ahead and just um, build our card. So the first thing that I want to have you do, I'm going to get my pencils out of the way here so that we can work. I am going to get my early espresso and I'm going to get my corner punch. You want to make sure that you are um, following your guides because if you don't, you won't get a nice round corner. It will get jagged and and it's not fun to try to fix. So just take that extra second to make sure everything's lined up in the guides and then you'll get a nice a nice round corner every time. If you rush it, I promise you won't and you'll be unhappy with it. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. All right, now that's done. Go ahead and take your piece, this uh, early espresso and this little guy, get some adhesive on it and mount it. And I always find that if I make sure that I line it up on the bottom three edges that I can see, I know that if those match, the top is going to match. So that's all on there. There we go. Now you want to Get your chicken coop, chicken wire piece, and we are going to go ahead and wrap this burlap ribbon. I'm going to just cut a piece that's about, just so you can see, about like that, because I don't need to wrap it clear around. I'm going to just give this a quick trim. I'm going to run it, and then also on this one, I will use, I'm going to use our tear and tape. Because of the texture on this piece, the embossing, it doesn't stick down as well with um, your snail. You want a little bit more adhesive, and so I, I choose this one. I like to use my paper trimmer or my paper piercer to lift this. It's just a little bit easier uh, with longer nails or um, fine motor skill issues. This just makes it just a, a breeze. Now I've got this all um, ready to stick down, but don't lay it down in your paper because you want to get your ribbon on it. And I'm going to come up about like that. And because I've got my tape on it, I will just wrap it around its side, press it down. I'll do the same thing on this side. Give it a press and then go ahead and get my card face and again like I said if you make sure that your three sides are close you can eyeball it and everything will be about the same. All right now we're going to go ahead and mount this and this one I want to use some dimensionals on just because I want to add some pop so I'm going to go ahead and grab those. and then put it also on the back of your sentiment so that it pops off too. Go ahead and mount your image first just so that you have a good um, alignment so that you have room for your sentiment but you don't not have room for your image. All right and then I want to just line it up about right there. Then I want to get my sentiment, cut those off, all right, and I want to, actually I think I want to line it up across my words a little bit, give that little pop, and there we go, have a happy day. And how can that card not make you happy with just the colors and the just the fun of the Hey Chick set? Thank you for joining me again. My name is Brenda with My Pastor's Wife Designs. I can't wait till you join me for our next in our Chicken Chit Chat series. Thank you. <music>